Hey guys, I'm Matt Asplund and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video, what we're going to be going over is a nice quick and simple one of how to replicate playing animation montages. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So as you can see, we have two characters in our level here. And if I were to press one, what we're going to do is just simply play a nice little animation like this. And this is going to work for both the client and the server. They can both dance, they can both play this animation and it's going to work replicated like so if you do this without if you try to play an animation montage without this video what's going to happen is, is it won't play on the other players screen it will only play on yours so again this is what we're going over in creating today nice simple video so without further ado let me delete this code and i'll show you how we've done it so the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint or wherever or wherever it is that you're playing this animation so for me that's going to be content third person blueprints BP third person character. In here, I'm going to right click, create a custom event, and name this Play Anim Montage on Server, or whatever name makes most sense for you. And on the right here, we're going to change replicates from not replicated to run on server. Then I'm going to right click, add custom event again, and name this one Play Animation Anim Montage on Client. And then on the replicates, I'm going to go from not replicated to multicast. Then out of the client event we just created, I'm going to play anim montage. I want this top one here with the blue F. And then what I'm going to do is drag the anim montage, select asset, into the event to add pin to node. Then up above, back on our play anim montage on server, we're going to call function play anim montage on client. And we're again going to drag anim montage select asset on to that uh, <clears throat> event with add pin to node. I'm just going to move these down to create a bit of space. And then what we can do is above this create our input action or whatever it is that we want to trigger this animation. So for me, for the purpose of this video, all I'm going to do is get a one keyboard event. But for you, this could be if you do something, if you walk into an area, if you press a button, if you have an emote wheel, anything you want where it is that you want to trigger your animation, come out of there and just simply do play anim montage on server. And then in here you can see we can now select whatever animation we want. So for me, I'm gonna choose my Club Groove 10 montage. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna fire off play anim montage on server with this animation. That's then gonna, on the server, fire off play anim montage on client, passing through the animation, then on the client, it's going to actually play the animation montage with the animation pass through once again. So this is it. It's very, very simple. Like I was saying, very quick and easy. We'll compile, save that, and then we'll hit play and test this out. So as you can see, we're now here again. And if I were to press my one keyboard event, let me just move the camera a little bit first. If I were to press one on my keyboard, you can see we're going to dance and we got it on both this character and we can view it on this character as well in the world. Perfectly like so it is replicated. So that is playing on the server and it's replicated so the client can see. And now if the client does it, the server can also see perfectly like so. So with that, I think that'll be it for this video as we've done what we want to do, and that is create it a replicated animation montage system. So essentially what we can do is just call that event wherever we want and whenever we want, pass through the animation we want to play, and it's gonna play replicated on, all the, ser on the server and the client as well. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and our channel out a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.